The U.S. Sun can exclusively reveal that Vanderpump Rules has been prohibited from filming at Schwartz and Sandy's following Tom Sandoval's infidelity. News of Tom, 40, having a months-long covered affair with his co-star Reco Levis, 29, when he was in a nine-year relationship with Ariana Maddox, 38, first surfaced about a year ago. However, the criticism has persisted and has impacted Tom's business dealings with 41-year-old Tom Schwartz to the extent that, according to a source, cameras are now prohibited. Production was banned from filming at Schwartz and Sandy's for season 11 because there was so much toxicity that was aimed at the restaurant, a source told the U.S. Sun. The abundant amount of toxicity aimed at the restaurant led to many issues with staff, whether it was working there for the wrong reasons, like trying to get camera attention or added pressure they received while trying to serve the guests. The source continued by saying that Greg Morris, a co-owner of the restaurant, finally rejected the idea that Schwartz and Sandy's went through a very tough time and that they should have capitalized on that on television. The insider went on, saying that Greg took charge and forbade cameras from filming at Schwartz and Sandy's because he believed that the establishment and all of its employees had been unfairly singled out. S and S took a big hit, and Greg thought filming there would ruin the business more than it had already been ruined post scandal. Bravo has been contacted by the U.S. Sun for comment. Supporters noticed that both Toms were posing at the bar of their other restaurant, Tom Tom, instead of Schwartz and Sandy's, which was mentioned in the opening credits. Along with Ken Todd and Lisa Vanderpump, who are investors, Sandoval and Schwartz are the restaurant's owners. According to a source who spoke with the U.S. Sun, there was never any talk about them not filming at Schwartz and Sandy's for the opening titles. Since it wasn't in the season, it was just thought that they couldn't film the opening titles there. It can also be assumed that since Lisa is the executive producer on VPR, she would rather promote the bar she has invested in rather than theirs. The opening titles also drove fans into a frenzy about Ariana and Katie Maloney, filming at something about her while the sandwich shop hasn't even opened, as the U.S. Sun had previously reported. Employees at Schwartz and Sandy's allegedly pushed Tom Sandoval out because they couldn't stand him when the affair was made public. The singer rarely made an appearance at the restaurant at the time and was only spotted about six times in a few months, a source has now verified to the U.S. Sun. Schwartz has been picking up the pieces and has been very hands-on because he did not want to see all their hard work suffer and did not want to let Greg down, claimed a source. Schwartz and Greg became very close and even Greg was putting in a lot of legwork and made sure everything didn't implode. This month, Schwartz spoke about Sandoval's current situation with the bar on Nick Vile's podcast, The Vile Files. He seems to be regressing a little. He acknowledged that his best friend was still financially connected, saying, he's been a silent partner for the most part. Naturally, time has passed and Schwartz and Sandy's is now concentrating on returning business to its pre-opening level from November 2022. According to The Insider, Greg and the Tom Toms recently got together and tried to figure out a strategy for how to put the past behind them and concentrate on S and S. Greg is hoping that people's minds will change about S and S and it can have a successful comeback. According to the source, Sandoval has generally been present at Schwartz and Sandy's more recently. On January 30, the night of the season 11 debut, Tom and Tom even stopped by the bar to celebrate with the fans. The insider continued, Despite having other obligations that occupy their time, both guys are making an effort to return their attention to S and S. Who knows, maybe for season 12, if there is one, Schwartz and Sandys can be featured on the show again. Sandoval was filming Special Forces in New Zealand when Vanderpump Rules 11th season commenced production in June 2023. In the meantime, Schwartz met co-star James Kennedy in Los Angeles to talk about the status of his relationship with his best friend.
He first acknowledged that he was nervous of being jeered by strangers, which was why he was wearing a Schwartz and Sandy's baseball cap for the first time in public. Then he revealed to James how much he and Tom had argued about the standing of their tavern. The biggest fight I've ever been in in my life with Tom Sandoval was the name of the bar, Schwartz and Sandy's, he said. He campaigned so hard, Mr. Marketing Genius, put that name on the side of the building. And when you do that you have to hold yourself to a higher standard. I do have a lot of resentment for Tom Sandoval right now, he continued. I apologize for putting you in such a difficult situation and for effectively using you as a shield for my affair, he stated. After his friend's affair with Rackle, who is now known as Rachel, came to light, Schwartz also admitted in front of the cameras that their beautiful bar turned become the scene of the crime. Reservations are down. A bunch of the staff quit. We felt like we were in a zoo, he clarified. There were people coming in there with vengeance, harassing the servers. It was poisonous. Tuesday nights at 8 p.m. ET on Bravo, new episodes of Vanderpump Rules premiere, featuring the conflict between the Tom Toms.